Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of A Grinder Face-Off where we face off two of our grinders and compare both their specs. Now we have over here two grinders, the DF83V and the DF64V. Let's compare these grinders first. So both of them come with a plasma generator and both of them have a single shoot, single magnetic shoot as well. Now they both have RPM dials so the V's are variable speeds that means you can adjust the speed that you want now let's focus on the differences they are both different bursts the 64 means it comes with the 64 mm bur the 83 comes with the 83 mm bur next up you can see that the plasma generator is a little bit different okay this is the external shoot uh, the plasma generator is inside over here there's not really another shoot covering over it however for the 64V you have an outlet piece that has an ionizer that has ionizer probes attached inside so that's one of the difference in the make on how they install the uh, plasma generator and the ionizer probes a very significant difference when it comes to the body and its design like most of the grinders in our series the DF64V is vertical however as you notice over here the DF83 is horizontal next up the DF83 V has a switch that you can turn on and off so you can still keep the grinder plugged in the DF64 V you can keep the grinder plugged in you and there's no switch for it to turn on it will basically be on you only need to press the power button to start up the grinder so this has an additional switch to cut off power supply from the socket the RPM dials yes they, they look exactly the same but let me bring this closer oh. Okay, the weight's also a bit of a difference. <laughs> the lowest RPM for the 83V is at 300, while the 64V, the lowest you can go is 800. Now, what's the highest? So, for the 64V, you can go all the way up to 1008. So, that's 1800 RPM. The highest you can go up to is 1600 RPM. We've actually gone through almost most of the differences for the two grinders and also the similarities between the two grinders now for the final test the final difference and that would be the time taken to grind 18 grams so we're going to do this twice we're going to do this one at the lowest rpm setting so that is for uh the df83v at 300 and the df64v at 800 we'll start off with the df83v all right so at its lowest, it can go... I'm not going to do a hot start here. So we have 18 grams in here. Hoping to get out 18 grams again. And the beans that we're using, slightly older medium rows. So a little bit finer. We'll leave it at 15. So this is at 300. And we'll begin in 3, 2, 1. So after a few pumps of the bellow, we got around 18 grams out exactly uh, at 36 seconds as well. So yeah, that is a 1 is to 1. So at a low RPM, we are still able to get out all of our 18 grams of coffee, which is great. After 36 seconds at 300 RPM, we were still able to get out 18 grams without choking up the grinder. Now we're going to try it at 800 RPM for the DF83V. Alright, this is to compare it with the DF64V that we're also going to be doing at 800 rpm bear in mind the difference is now the burst size so let's set it to 800 okay i've got 800 rpm right here pouring it down 18 grams so just now we got 36 seconds 36 56 close to 37 seconds for 300 rpm 18 grams for the 83V. Right now, we're going to try 800 RPM. And 3, 2, 1. All 
right? So nothing much came out even after a few pumps when I stopped the timer. So I stopped it at 8 seconds because that's where all the grinds actually came out. So at 800 RPM, it was already churning out at 8 seconds. Yep, 18 grams at 8 seconds. That is fast at 800 RPM. Okay. Now, we're going to try the BF64V, okay? So we got 18 grams right here. The 83V at 800 RPM went out at 8 seconds. Let's try the 64V. 3, 2, 1. Still have some coming out. Stopped it at 31 seconds. 18 grams again at 800 RPM but 31 seconds so at 800 rpm for this grinder it comes out at 8 seconds this comes out at 31 seconds now i'm going to try this at 1600 18 grams going in at 1600 yeah 1600 as well let's see how fast this goes okay three two one Right, 18 grams out at 11 seconds. Kidoke. Now, I always like to practice this after my grind, if I can. I just clean the exit chute because why not? If you want to keep your devices lasting longer, just do that. I think this applies for all appliances, electronics, gadgets, whatever you get. If you can maintain them on your own, it's going to last you longer. Like, don't get me wrong, yes, the ionizer probes help in reducing grind retention. But over time, after many grinds, there's still going to be a small buildup around your ionizer probes. Now, this definitely affects the quality of the ionizer probes over time, it makes it more stressed out. It increases the workload, and that would cause you to have problems with your plasma generator. And after a while, you might have to get a replacement plasma generator. Rather than that, doing a simple maintenance like this can save you on the cost for both the item and the shipping. Okay, now I've ramped it up to 1800. This is going to be the max settings for both of them. So just now at 1600, 1160. Let's begin. 18 grams in. Three, two, one. Yeah, not much of a difference really, just a second. Uh, 10 seconds. Now let's try the 83V at its highest setting. All right, now we have 18 grams over here going at a max speed of 1600 for the 83V. Put these fellas in. So max speed for 
DF64V 10.91 seconds Okay Let's try the max speed for the 83V Set And 3, 2, 1 That was fast. Okay, let's see. Five seconds, five seconds, point, five point three one seconds. Okay. That's a noticeable difference. That is a noticeable difference. Okay, so there you have it. The grind size is also uh, a bit of a variant as well. I just put that, I just put the grind size as a standard so that you know a grind size of 15 would give you the kind of grinds that will come out, what kind of speed it comes out at as compared to another grinder with the grind size of 15. So there's also going to be market difference from there. It's also due to the fact that they're use, do it using different size of, of burrs as well. But there you have it. That is the stark difference between the 83V and the 64V. Now, there it is. These are two pretty great grinders to invest in with their sleek aesthetic design and also a plasma generator that comes for the both of them. Not to mention, not much chokes as well. With the bellow especially helping you out towards the end of the grind, you don't waste much time. In fact, the slowest you can go for this one is around 30, 35 seconds. That's 5 seconds more than the DF54, but you still get a bigger burr. And you, it's variable speed as well, so you can, you, if you want, you can increase the speed all the way up to 1800. And that would give you your grinds on an, uh, on an estimate speed of like 10 seconds. Yeah, and there you have it. That is the grinder face-off between the 64V and the 83V. I don't have to say much about the 83V, it's a beast on its own. <laughs> That's all for today. Let us know what you think about this video and what you think about these two grinders. If you want to get the grinders, you can get them on our website, go check them out. And let us know what you want to see next, all in the comment section down below. Remember to like and share this video as well. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace. Bye.